Standardized testing, one-size-fits-all curriculums, apathetic and underpaid teachers, there's a basket of problems facing the American education system as we know it. And back in 2013, one young man would stand up and attempt to reform all of these problems in front of this social media sphere. This young man sporting some glorious blonde locks was named Jeff Bliss. Back in 2013, Duncanville High School sophomore Jeff Bliss became a worldwide phenomenon after a video of him airing out his grievances with his world history teacher went viral on social media. Just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. Bye. They need to learn face to face. Bye. You want them to get excited yeah, for this? You, you gotta come in here, you gotta make them excited. You want a kid to change and start doing better? You gotta touch his freaking heart. You can't just hand them freaking packets, yo. Seriously. Many online seemed to empathize with Jeff. They felt that America's school system had been lacking for some time and he became this symbol that people would rally behind to hopefully make a change. Today I'd like to revisit this old clip and the story behind this unlikely internet champion. This is the story of the would-be education reformist Jeff Bliss. And if you would like, I'll yeah. teach you a little more so you no. can actually learn how to teach yeah. a freaking yeah. class. Well, look what came in the mail today. A freaking packet, yo. But this isn't any freaking packet. It was sent to me by the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. And they've got some amazing cologne I want to talk to you guys about. Scentbird is a cologne and perfume subscription service that ships your favorite scents right to your front door. I personally like the Tommy Bahama Maritime. It smells great. It makes me feel like I'm the captain of a yacht. And this Mercedes-Benz Select has a great fruity fragrance and also doubles as an affordable alternative path to being the owner of a Mercedes-Benz product. Each month for just $15, you'll get a 30-day supply of fragrance. That's around 120 to 140 sprays. And you can upgrade to receive additional scents. Aside from fragrances, Scentbird also has a stout selection of skincare, wellness, and cosmetic products. They really have something for everyone there. You guys can save 30% off your first month of Scentbird by clicking my link in the description and using code SURF30 at checkout. That's $10 to start your Scentbird subscription. Big shout out to them for sponsoring. Now let's get into the story. Now for someone to be so outspoken about the importance of education, you might imagine that Jeff Bliss was a straight A student with a perfect academic resume. But that wasn't the case at all. After Jeff's freshman year of high school, he actually dropped out after becoming disillusioned with the prospects of his own education. Now after dropping out, Jeff took some time to reflect on this decision and came to the conclusion, well, his prospects would be limited and that he likely had made a mistake. What I soon realized was Without that education, I'm not going to make any step forward into my future. With this realization in mind and some additional encouragement provided by his mother, Rhonda, who happened to be a teacher, Jeff would eventually decide to give his education another shot. He would re-enter high school as a sophomore, and in his sophomore year, he would turn 18, making him two years older than most of his classmates. This was likely an uncomfortable position to be in, but Jeff was determined to stay the course and get his diploma. With this return to school, Jeff redoubled his efforts, and his academic performance excelled in comparison to his pre-dropout marks, going from making 50s on assignments to consistently making A's, B's, and C's and passing his classes. You can hear him talk about it a bit here. Well, ever since I came back, I've been making mostly A's, B's, and C's, right. you know, a, a collective of all. Right. So, I mean, fairly well compared to when I had been in ninth grade and was failing. Right. Compared to making those 50s to now making the, the passing grades, right. the good grades. Jeff's academic return was going well so far, but by the end of sophomore year, he would identify what was in his mind a problem. That problem, or problems I should say, was Jeff's social studies slash world history teacher, and more specifically, the preparation tools given to the students to get them ready for the STAR test. The STAR test is a standardized test given to students used to track education performance progress and seeks to identify strengths and weaknesses in a student's knowledge base for the next year. In preparation for the test, students are typically given large packets of standardized study material that's to be completed throughout the duration of class. But through the eyes of your average high school student, this preparation work is just a bunch of mind-numbing busy work lacking any educational substance. Facing day after day of these star test study packets, Jeff felt like he wasn't being taught anything of value. 
he felt like his time was being wasted. And this would lead to him going on the epic rant that you're all very familiar with against his teacher. While the exact specifics of what led up to this famous altercation are unverified, it's reported by Jeff that his teacher told him to quit bitching after he confronted her on these study packets and expressed the idea that he wasn't being properly educated. After this alleged exchange, Jeff would stand up and began his education manifesto. Unbeknownst to anyone in the room, a classmate had opened their phone and recorded it all. You gotta, you gotta take this job serious. This is the future of this nation. And when you come in here, like you did last time, and make a statement about, oh, this is my paycheck, indeed it is. But this is my country's future and my education. Can you go outside, please? Scorpions. But there's a limit when I'm not bitching, okay. but simply making an observation. Okay, okay. And now I will leave. You're Good. welcome. Good. Because since I got here, I've done nothing but go. read packets. Go. So don't try and take credibility for teaching me jack. Just go. Bye. Now it was a fiery rant, but Jeff would stick around the school premises. After the rant, he was escorted to the principal's office where he met with the assistant principal and they sort of talked it out. Eventually, the teacher that he ranted at would also come to this office and the three would mediate the situation a bit, leading to a uh, uneasy compromise where Jeff actually returned to class after the meeting. A tentative peace was reestablished for the rest of the school day. But that is certainly not the end of this saga. As mentioned earlier, the altercation was indeed recorded by a classmate. It wouldn't take long for this classmate to upload Jeff's impassioned speech to the internet. On May 8th, the video appeared on YouTube and it almost immediately went viral. For many, Jeff's frustration with public education and his teacher resonated with them. And you began to see comment after comment expressing support for Jeff and his criticisms against his educator. I'm glad to see this young man standing up for his rights and those of others. We have a crisis in our institutional union-run public schools and it needs to be dealt with. Pronto. This was probably the best way for him to handle the situation. The fact of the matter is, school officials don't listen to students' complaints about teachers. He stayed calm and controlled his temper and ultimately said what he needed to. I want to shake this kid's hand. Because of this video and the nature of social media, this was no longer a Duncanville High School issue. The entire nation was prying into this situation trying to find more details. They wanted to know if any disciplinary action was going to be taken against the teacher and if anything was going to happen to their hero Jeff Bliss. The answer to these questions would be revealed in the upcoming news coverage around the event. And it looked like Jeff was getting off scot-free and his teacher was going to get just a little bit of fun. Black. This tirade went well beyond the hallways of Duncanville High, going viral through social media to news outlets across the country. It really, it was just a normal day, but when Jeff came, everybody was like, woo, in the hallway. And I just started laughing because I knew what they were screaming for. It was just funny. The Duncanville superintendent puts a positive spin on the PR problem. And I certainly agree that the student could have handled the situation in a more appropriate way. The content of the message is a, co a conversation we like having in our district because we're all about the engagement of young people in 21st century learning. His speech went unpunished, but his teacher was put on indefinite paid administrative leave. Dr. Alfred Ray wouldn't confirm if the teacher cursed at Bliss, as he said she did. While she had no previous discipline issues, her paid leave is standard operating procedure for any district employee under investigation. If we determine that there was any employee misconduct, whether it be the thing that you mentioned or whatever there may have been, then we will deal with that with the appropriate level of consequences because we're not going to tolerate inappropriate behavior on anyone's part. Once it was revealed that Jeff wasn't going to be getting in any trouble and that the teacher, while not getting fired, was going to be placed on a paid administrative leave, a narrative would be established here that Jeff was right in his outburst. He became somewhat of a symbol, an unlikely hero for those who felt let down by the American education system. And for those disgruntled with it, they rallied behind him. YouTube would become flooded with videos from individuals inspired by Jeff, offering praise for what he did. He was indeed the man of the hour. I agree that the educational system is broke. I agree with that. What he said in that video is absolutely true. You did a good thing, son. And if I ever run across you, I'll, I'll probably give you a hug because what you said 
needed to be said. I have to go along with his statements and I can, I can understand why he got angry. And uh, in my heyday, the teacher used uh, uh, the knowledge in teaching us how and stood by us and taught us all the way through. Anymore, he's exactly right. All you do is hand a package and hope that you can understand what's in the package. They don't even know a lot of times what is in the package. As the social media obsession with Jeff Bliss grew, he himself would play into it a little bit and become more vocal about himself in interviews. These interviews revealed more about his personality and he came off as a well-spoken and overall chill guy. I wanna see a teacher stand up and interact with the students, get involved, discuss, talk, question and get deep into the the subject. Man, do you do you feel like you're a hero for what you did for what you've done? Um, no, nah, man, I'm not, I'm not a hero. You know what I mean? I, I'd rather people call me an inspiration. Right. I just want people to find the hero in themselves. Right. You know what I mean? Be the hero to your own story. Exactly. You know, don't make me the hero. Be your own hero. You know, exactly. just see me as a product of inspiration to find a hero in you. You know. Exactly. He even made it to the internet meme big leagues and got a spot on Tosh.0 where he proved he could take a joke. Were you a little upset that you said credibility versus credit? So don't try and take credibility for teaching me Jack. You should have said take credit. It was almost a perfect speech. Here at the moment. I hear you. <laughs> Around the time, Jeff would also become active on social media, creating a Twitter and Facebook account where he shared his thoughts with fans. This nation needs to create leaders, not followers. Everyone, I'm not standing up for my education, I'm standing up for our education. You can't find inspirational quotes like that in a freaking packet, yo. Whether Jeff intended this to be the case or not, there was an activist branding associated with his public image. There was sort of an assumption by Jeff's fans or followers that he would expand beyond the viral video he was known for and continue to champion reformist ideals. Many of Jeff's followers believed that the storybook ending to his viral saga would be if he finished school, went to college, and became a teacher himself. You know, they wanted him to reform the system from the inside and they made this hypothetical timeline that Jeff was to follow. But is that what actually ended up happening? Well, as the viral hype from Jeff's video began to dwindle in the weeks and months following its upload, so did Jeff's optimistic social media posts. Jeff's Twitter account had become largely inactive by the summer, and posts on his Facebook page completely ceased by November of 2013. A post in August would confirm that Jeff passed his sophomore year and advanced to his junior year, but after that, posts regarding his academic progress completely ceased. The narrative behind Jeff becomes confusing in this post-viral phase. One post made by Jeff displays strong cynicism towards the institution of college, an institution he would most certainly have have to attend if he did indeed want to become a teacher like his followers suggested he should. At Loghead, college is used to put an entire generation in debt, but what happens when the economy crashes and the dollar becomes worthless? About a year later, after receiving more questions about his future plans, Jeff would more directly address the calls for him to become a teacher. He said he wanted to be a teacher, but clarified not in the traditional sense. At Real Jeff Bliss, what's your plan for the future? Have you ever thought about becoming a teacher? I haven't found my passion yet, but everyone is a teacher because we all have the power to guide people in any direction, good or bad. An educator is the builder and elevator of the mind, so if you can implement the right knowledge, wisdom, and understanding on a foundation to give the youth, you can guide the youth to the highest point of their potential. The past and current school system doesn't allow or want us to be able to give that to the youth. I don't have plans to be a formal teacher in the public school system. He would also respond to another Twitter user giving an additional cynical outlook on public education. The education system was never designed to educate, only to produce obedient corporate slaves. Yeah, at this point about a year out from the viral video spread, Jeff himself seemed pretty uncertain about his own future. And the notion that Jeff would somehow swoop in and reform the entire American education system from the inside as a teacher, it seemed like less of his own goal and more of the desire of online onlookers who bought into the sensationalized social media buzz surrounding Jeff. 
At the end of the day, you gotta remember that Jeff never intended for his rant to be seen by anyone outside of that social studies classroom. He never asked for it to be filmed. Sure, he played into the media hype a little bit, but the reason for his rant wasn't to become famous. In that moment, he was just speaking his mind. His gradual disappearance from social media in the year following the viral video's blow up indicates to me that Jeff was tired of being the center of attention and also tired of trying to meet the expectations of his ever vigilant followers. For all intents and purposes, Jeff left social media entirely by late 2014, leaving many curious as to what would become of him. Some would fear that he had dropped out of school, or even worse, died. Because you know, if any popular social media figure disappears, the internet just assumes that they're six feet under. That's just like a rule of the internet, I guess. Well, after many years of inactivity, Jeff would actually retweet a user who tweeted, quote, Jeff is alive, back in 2016, indicating that he was indeed still with us and had access to his Twitter account. But what exactly was he doing at this time? Well, information on this front is extremely limited and none of it is really verifiable. But in 2018, a Redditor would claim that they were currently working with Jeff Bliss at a UPS packing facility. I must reiterate, this is an unconfirmed, unverifiable report, but I will read you the statement from this Redditor. Don't take this as fact, okay? I happen to work with him. I'm a supervisor at a UPS hub. Jeff is a loader. Basically, he loads the packages into the trucks. He's a really cool guy. He's kind of quiet, but he's a hard worker. I asked him about the video and doesn't really like to talk about it. The Redditor later updates this thread, saying, Still at the UPS hub. He worked in my area yesterday, actually. He works there with his brothers, and I've talked to them about it a few times. Doesn't really seem significant to them. Just a thing that happened a long time ago. I don't know why someone would come on here and make that up, but I don't know if it's real or not, so you can take that as you will. It's also interesting to note that the tweet that Jeff retweeted indicating he was alive from 2016 was recently unretweeted sometime in either 2020 or 2021. However, I don't actually believe that this was done by Jeff going in and manually undoing the tweet to scrub his social media activity or something like that. I'm fairly certain the retweet is gone because the account that made the original tweet has since gone private. Thus, the now private tweet would not show up on Jeff's public page. Whatever the case, it's clear to me that Jeff Bliss no longer desires to be the education reformist that social media branded him as. Rather, it seems like he wants to live out his life in private. Which, by all means, go ahead, bro. <laughs> We can sit here all day and speculate into his whereabouts and if he finished school or if he became a teacher, but at the end of the day, we'll really only ever know what truly happened if Jeff comes forward and explains everything to us directly. So why not save your judgment until you hear Jeff's side of the story? Accidental online fame seems fantastic for most, but I think in Jeff's case, it was fun at the start, but the pressure associated with the social media narrative made it too invasive and he just decided to walk away from it all. Regardless, Jeff Bliss will remain an internet legend for his fiery speech that inspired youths around America to be critical of those responsible for their education. And if you would like, I'll teach you a little more so you can actually learn how to teach a freaking class. But that, my friends, is the saga of Jeff Bliss. If you want to watch another video about a student that went dummy on their teachers, make sure you check out my video about the James Tate prom stunt. Slap a like on the video, slap that notification bell, and make sure you let me know down below who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.